hugely competitive with Liverpool. I think we competed every game last year. The first half, um, we competed. We were solid, very solid. I wanted us to be better on the ball and have more control of possession, but I felt that was something that would come in the second half. And we had, we had a few threats for them. Um, so, yeah, the, the red card, the red card, obviously. But with the Kepa situation, it's a clear mistake. It's a clear mistake that, you know, has, uh, has cost us because at that point we go on to have a penalty, which we maybe score, and it could, you know, those fine margins change games at this level. So um, we have to keep working. Kepa has to keep working. He has to have support around him. That's very clear. Um, but it was a clear mistake on the day. Matt Long, please. Frank, um, obviously with it being only the second game of the season and you've still got a lot of players to come in and a lot of sort of mixing of the, the squad to do, would it be unfair to make any judgments in terms of where Chelsea stand in comparison to Liverpool on the basis of that, would you say, or, or can you make any conclusions? No, I don't think so. I mean, people may do. I don't think you can ever really um, make judgments on a game that's, that's tight for half a game and then becomes... 10 against 11 and the result and the face of the game completely changes. I, I was actually really pleased with the sort of spirit and work ethic and some of the real individual performance, particularly from us in the defensive, on the defensive side. So, you know, there's, there's, a, there's a lot for us uh, to look forward to. We have players coming back who are injured. Some of them are signing who are injured. We get more time and we will have more time and days to work together on fitness, but also on the way we want to play. There were flashes of it today. We'll see a lot more of that. So it's not the time for judgment. It's game two. We have 10 men against Liverpool. We almost can come away with a 1 1 if circumstances change. And I think there were a lot of positives out today. Nick Kilman, please. Hi, Frank. Um, obviously, it seems like Timo Werner has done everything but score in his two games so far. How, how would you assess his um, contribution so far? Are you pleased with his start? Yeah, I'm, I'm very pleased with his start. He's, you know, we brought him to the to the club for the, the attributes that we're seeing. We're seeing speed, we're seeing individual moments. We will see goals from him, we know that. Uh, and I thought as well with the second half and how difficult it would have been for him and him and Mason, but himself, and then he comes up with a moment that, that could get us back into the game. I'm delighted with him and we'll, we'll see a lot more. And, and, and also his, his manner, his way, his desire to work for the team, his, his behaviour in the dressing room. Um, I'm delighted with him. Can we do two more? Jeremy Langdon and then Desar can tell us to finish. Hi, Frank. Uh, can you just say um, anything about the reports in France suggesting a Mendy deal is done and he may be arriving this week? And also about the omission of Rudiger. Some people wondering about his future tonight as well. Can you say anything about that? Yeah, I, mean, I don't have news on the Mendy one, so I'll stay away from that. Until anything's confirmed, you should never speak on another player. So that's that. Uh, on Rudiger, I've got, well, now we have five centre halves at the club. So. You know, I can't pick a squad that has three of them on the bench. So um, that's the way it is. I have to pick the squad by training and uh, situations and their opponents. And, and that was the selection one today. Okay, last one is Mark Kinsella. Hi, Frank. Kind of following up from that, um, Tamori came on after 45 and, and did pretty well. Is it a sign of his character, also a sign of how much you trust him in that? And, and what do you think of generally defensively? Is this something you might use to play against teams and hit them on the break? Uh, he did really well tomorrow, I have to say, and he hasn't played for a while and he's striving for fitness like most of the squad, and I was delighted with him. So I'm really pleased, and yeah, I hope he feels the trust in him. He saw that last year, it was started the pre-season last year as fifth centre-back in most people's minds and played 20-plus games for Chelsea. So um, I've got confidence in him and he showed it. Um, your second part of the I'm sorry about it. Uh, yeah, I mean, there will be times against a team like Liverpool where you have to be solid. We know at times last year we considered too many goals, so... There are times like that. But the biggest thing for us at the moment is lack of time to work on the training pitch. You know, we're trying to work um, for fitness. We've got games now that are coming thick and fast. So there certainly needs to be patience from myself, from everybody. But I know that we are going to get better and better and better the more time we can build relationships on the training pitch. And with, with the three or four injuries to some of the newer players now and Christian Pulisic as well, we're going to have players that are coming back to seriously compete to be in this starting eleven, which will improve us as well. Last one was just going to go Moose because he couldn't hear. Sorry, I didn't hear. I didn't hear your answer right at the beginning. Oh, I, I, I presume that Moose. Sorry, ask again, please. Yeah, I was. I was just. I, you've already sort of spoken about a red card in Kepa. Can I just ask though about? I mean, you've got a game coming up with Barnsley this week, which we've got live on Talksport. Do you play him or do you leave him out after what's happened today? Because I mean, his confidence is going to be low, and he he, he would have read the stories about you being linked with other goalkeepers. How, how do you approach this situation now? 
I can say now, Moose, that Willie Caballero will play, and that was always my feeling to play him in the game on Wednesday, regardless of today. So I don't want people to make judgments on that game itself. Listen, he's our player, and it's clear now there's two games where we feel today was a clear mistake. I think Brian was a mistake as well, and he's reflected on that in that way. Um, so we have to keep working. It's the rules of football, most difficult times. Individually, players need support, particularly from myself. I give that to all the players. And Kepa has to keep working. You know, no, nobody tries to make mistakes in football. It's the nature of the game. You have to be strong and keep going. And that's where he's at. That's it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.